Oh, hello. Welcome back to Improv Murder Mystery. And you know, seeing that wolf in action gave me an idea. What I need is my own feral animal to do my bidding. So I got me one. It wasn't hard, just search the woods in the back of my house with a strap with all kinds of meat onto my breast and uh, eventually a wolf came. And a few bears. And a few raccoons. And all the uh, animals in creation. Yes, all of them. Every single one. I'm pretty sure there were a few animals from uh, other continents in there too. All, you know, boarded a boat and just came here. All to eat my meat. It was painful. And traumatic. But all that doesn't matter because I got me self a dog. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. That's a good puppy, that's a good puppy. See? This is a dog. A very wolf-like dog at that. This one's gonna win the competition. This is Smokey, and he's a very smart dog. Smokey, shake. Yeah, there we are, there we are, see? How many other dogs know how to shake, hmm? This dog is well trained, I presume, huh? Don't eat my hand there. This dog will blow them all out of the water. I promise you that, and we'll show those competition lovers. Ugh, saying the word just makes me shake out. Over here! We'll show those, those fools what a real dog is like. Real. I, I have a, a small case of Elmer Fudd syndrome. Sometimes, sometimes that happens. Over here! Over here! Good pup. So anyway, yes, last time on the uh, Improv Murder Mystery, it turns out that last year's competition may not have happened very, um, well, it might not have been very fair. One of the contestants may have cheated. How disgusting. We all never cheat, right, Smokey? Yeah, we're just going to knock them all out with a waffle iron, and then we're going to poison their drinks. And set their clothes on fire. But we're never gonna cheat. Did I just say that on camera? Um, why don't we just uh, go back to the suspects and um, and uh, watch them, them uh, admit to horrible crimes, shall we? I I got some important training to do. Smokey? Oh, you might go. Smokey! Oh, 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 oh.
wrappings that people would use to pick up their dog food. Oh. And so he started cleaning them up. Uh, and he realized under that pile was a suffocated and very dead, if I could remember his, her name, Phoebe. Oh. If only we could see her final moments. <laughs> There's people here who don't think that you should be here. And some of us just don't like you in general. You made a mockery of this whole event. As a matter of fact, I think that you, if you left and died, I wouldn't care. Oh, sure, you want to see my dog? Come on. You can hold her for a little bit. She's only like 100 pounds. No, you're being mean to her. Checks on a 
to do. <laughs> you see, City Hall, the post office, it forms a five-point diagram. And in the center, of the great tree. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say no when she just sticks her hand down my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, let's get this through. Which one do we to answer? The, the rabbit question or the dead lady question? Yes, we'll be... A bunny dies every year, too! I did the research! You have research on rabbit deaths. Oh, it forms a pentagram if you connect city all <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep asking me about my dead rabbit? That's <laughs> not related. <laughs> <laughs> she would cry about that. Back to the pentagram. <laughs> that actually ate the buddy, but she didn't even know. <laughs> she just keeps thinking it was baby all alone, what a dumb bitch. <laughs> Look, if you turn the map sideways, it's a sideways pentagram with the bleacher. <laughs> yes, we're still gonna follow through with the competition, okay? And although I have some fears and gripes with how this city is turning out to be, I, I think that if I were to Burn some sage inside of the the, the dome. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I forgot what we're talking about here. The, the dead lady or the dead rabbit? They both seem equally important to me. But... <laughs> All right, sage and dome. Dome. Pentagram. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're the CEO of a very successful construction company. Indeed, the ones that are going to be tearing down that grand tree. He's been there for far too long. Now, here's right? the thing with the grand tree that I don't understand. <laughs> is that it's been around for hundreds of years, yes. hundreds of maybe thousands of years. <laughs> if possible, yes. But it has only started to be a problem with the city as long as the Acorn Festival has been going on. And I wonder, I and wonder it's probably it crazy if there's some kind of correlation. There's going to be a sex there. <laughs> and it's in the middle of the town. How does everybody have sex there? <laughs> Children, whatever, do something like that. <laughs> Yourself included? Excuse me, what are you accusing me of here? I am a classic individual. I'm wearing a bow tie for God's sake. I think you just have some pent up anger with Stacy around that tree, and that's where you're trying to tear it How down. How dare you accuse okay. me of anything at all? Now, now. Ever. How dare you take a murder so lightly? Can we just sit down for a second and enjoy People some gingerbread? <laughs> <laughs> doing the research. I, I'm trying to connect the dogs, but it's really tough. And you know, me and Sheila, we drove for like two hours for this festival, and we're going to be pretty disappointed if we don't win. And, and oh, now so it's, it's all about winning. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm afraid I need that, that, that money. I need the winnings. Oh, well, I hope you do well, but... <laughs> <laughs> Really close. <laughs>